New at 11, for those who lived in southwest Virginia in the 90s and the 2000s, there was no mistaking the sound and look of Carillion Clinic's lifeguard tent. Carillion retired it nearly 10 years ago, but it recently crashed fighting fires in Spain. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer takes a look back on the legacy of a chopper that helped save so many lives in our area. I think that's Carl Klein, Klein yeah, right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. It's a trip down memory lane for the Carillion Clinic lifeguard family, humbly remembering its roots. Terry Lovell piloted the aircraft that arguably made the program what it is today. It was a coupe de ville. If, if you can give it a cream to cream, that's what it was. For this kind of job and for lots of other jobs. It had lots of power, lots of room. Lifeguard just celebrated 35 years serving the Southwest Virginia community, and this is one of the three helicopters that they use to do the job now. But for nearly 20 years, it was this bird, the Bell 412 Lima Gulf, that did the job, transporting nearly 10,000 people across the area. The crew used to think that this helicopter was unstoppable until they learned about a crash late last year. It breaks your heart because you just think about how many lives she touched, uh, how many employees lives, patients lives, families, uh, the community, uh, and all that kind of runs runs through your mind. Krista Henderson spent years on Lima Gulf too. It collided with a biplane in Spain, killing the biplane pilot, a famous European rally car driver. A tough pill to swallow for the lifeguard family and now program director Susan Smith. Considering the fact that we were the first program in Virginia, that really has a great deal of significance to the community and to all of the EMS and fire and healthcare workers who have helped transport patients with lifeguard 10 in the Bell 412. Lima Golf set the standard in 1990 until retirement in 2009. After Southwest Virginia, he went on to Nigeria with the United Nations and then firefighting missions in Europe, which is what it was doing when it crashed. It's hard to realize it's gone, but so be it. If they don't fix it back together, I wish they would bring parts so we could all have a little piece to hang in an office somewhere. But whether or not Lima Golf ever sees the air again, Carillion won't soon be forgetting the bird that got them to where they are now. In Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.